Tommy, less than 24 hours since we last spoke. I guess there's not much of an update, is there? But the lads are out there. I guess it's a lighter session today. But, you know, how's it been this morning? Yeah, no rest for the wicked. It's, it's, um, we decided to, to bring them in today after last night's game and the quick turnaround just for a body count, really. We got one or two sore um, and fatigued bodies, but we, touch wood, haven't uh, picked any injuries up from last night. So we'll have at least that squad um, on top of that. Um, I'm hoping to possibly add one or two more who have been out for a little while. Um, so the options will be a little bit greater at the weekend. But uh, look, was, yesterday was a bruising encounter. I thought it was a game where both teams tried to play at a high tempo. And I think, if we're both honest, I think both teams just turned the ball over too much. You know, Because you played at a high tempo, the risk of giving the ball away does increase. And that happened for both teams. And whilst both goalkeepers fielded a lot of balls, there wasn't too much you know, in the way of real goal mouth action. So, um, We'll take the point. I, I think Southend are a good side um, and we move on to the next game. What does this kind of schedule look like in terms of the logistics of it? Because obviously we've got a trip to Hartlepool to do, which is one of the longer ones as well to throw it in there. But I guess we won't see much training action for those players that played the 90 minutes yeah. and the majority of the game last night. Well, they've been on their feet this morning just to get you know the, the, the rubbish out of their legs. Um, that's been done. They're just finishing off now as we speak. Um, so we give them a little bit longer in bed this morning. Obviously, we're going we're going to travel tomorrow, um, uh, stay over on the on the Friday night, and then travel back after the game. So, yeah, it, it, look, it's not an ideal situation because you've got one less day between the game uh, from Wednesday to Saturday. But but it is what it is. We've got to get on with it. Um, and like I said, well, I've always said, you know, we're not, we're not going to make excuses. We're just going to get on with it and, and put out the best we can put out up there, and hopefully come back with a positive result. Yeah, we're facing another team, aren't we, where they've just relieved their manager of his duties. So mm. it seems to have happened quite a lot already this season. I mean, are we expecting maybe a bit of a new manager bounce up there? Well, you know, they've got, they've got a, a, an absolute legend in, in terms of in charge at the moment. And Lenny Lawrence, you know, he's, anybody who's done more than him in football, I'd be surprised. So uh, we'll know we're coming up against somebody who knows what he's doing. Um, and they had, a, they had a bounce at Altrincham. I've watched the game back this morning. Um, and they probably just edged it, to be honest with you. So, look, when, when managers change, you tend to get a bounce. It will be the first home game since the change. So, I've played there and I know what the fans are like there. And if they, you know, if they can, uh, if they've got something to, to, to get behind, they are formidable, a bit like our East Bank, you know. So, I'm looking forward to going back because there's still people at the club there that I, that I know. Um, but, like, whenever I go back to a, a place that I've worked at before, my, my ultimate aim is to come, come away with a win. Yeah, the defensive stability is added to that, isn't it? From um, Wednesday night, almost said Tuesday there, but def- we've got a nice clean sheet to to boost the confidence there, haven't we? Yeah, I mean we've had two in a, in a week. You know, yeah. in the in the four home games we've had over the last twelve days, you know, I've been really pleased with the solidity we've shown, and against very different oppositions. You know, with Bath City, with all due respect, they were very direct and had a big fellow up the front who was a handful big fisher. Um, against Eastleigh, they had two. That were, that were a handful in, in their stock of trade, you know, McCallum and, and uh, Quigley with clever players in behind them in Maguire. So, and then the youngsters at Derby give you a completely, actually more like a game against Southend, to be honest with you. It's a lot more technical. Uh, they look to move the ball quickly and they, they look to, to pierce holes where they can. So I think we've had a really good four, four games, and it's, but it takes a lot out of people, you know. So as people saw the other day, you know, we, we made a full, full change to our front line. But I genuinely look at that and people won't see it the same as I do because I see them every day. But as a group of people, I don't see us weakening the team because we've made two or three changes. I just see us strengthening the bench in in that respect. Yesterday, the the ebb and the flow of the game was such that we, I thought we started the game really, really well. Should have been 1-0 up after two minutes. We didn't manage to take that chance. They had their good spell towards the end of the first half for 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then when we come out second half, they started well, and we turned it on its head when we made the three subs. So it was really, a, it was like a chess game to be honest. And, and I know Kev, and Ruby, and and Ben. I've known them a long time. I know the way they coach. And I know I know what they look for, and I also know a lot of their players um, as they do us. So it was a, it was one of them. Like I said, it really was a little bit of a chess game. I enjoyed it. I mean, me and Kev had a chat afterwards, and I think we both agreed. We both had spells where we thought we might have edged it, but. In truth, neither team worked the goalkeeper enough and sometimes that's just cancelling each other out.